Hi there, and welcome to my video lesson on what do blood pressure numbers mean. So, have you ever wondered when you go to the doctor's office and they measure your blood pressure, what those numbers actually mean? So, let's start with an orientation to the device that they use, which we're going to have to say it together now because it's quite a mouthful. Sphygmomanometer, or breaking it down, sphyg mo man o -meter. So, this is a very standard device, sphygmonometer, sphygmomanometer, that is placed around your right or left arm and is inflated, placing direct pressure on your brachial artery. When the cuff is inflated adequately, the nurse practitioner or the physician uses a stethoscope, which is an osculatory device or an osculatory device. An osculatory device or osculation is listening to animal sounds or human sounds. So you can use it to listen for heartbeats, for breathing. You probably have noticed that the same tool is not only used to listen underneath the cuff for certain timing and sequences of the actual beats, but also can be used to listen to your lungs, your chest, when you breathe at the doctor's office. So it's a universal tool that's used for many things. Anyway, the specific sounds that a physician or nurse is listening for are called Karotkoff sounds. And what those sounds tell the physician or the nurse practitioner is essentially a breakdown of two important numbers. The first, which is called the top number, which you probably just know as the top number and nothing else, and the bottom number. These two numbers have very important implications for blood pressure readings and your health in general. So let's start with the top number. The top number is called systolic pressure or an even better term is systole. And it has a Greek meaning, and it actually means drawing together or uh, a contraction. So systole, very simply, is a measure of the amount of pressure placed on the walls of the arteries when the heart contracts. So both the ventricles and atria experience systole. However, the top number is almost always used to measure the left ventricular systole. So the left ventricle is basically a gateway to the body's arteries. It's the main pump that provides oxygen-rich blood to organs, skin, skeletal muscle, and the brain. So even though this systole or systolic pressure can be used for any chamber of the heart, this is typically used to represent the number in the left ventricle. So the bottom number, or diastole, is a one that a lot of people usually ignore for some reason. Well, not ignore, but they play secondary to systole probably because of the order. You know, they always, doctors always tell you, you know, your top number follows your, by your bottom number. So I'm not sure if that's some kind of like order bias, something that people tend to pay more attention to. But both numbers are important. My point is, is just a lot of people tend to pay more attention to the top number rather than the bottom number. Um, so the bottom number is called diastole or diastolic pressure. I like to use diastole and systole. That's the way I was taught when I was in school, so it's easier for me to remember those. And diastole is a Greek for dialing apart or dilation. So diastole, dilation, you can see where that comes from. So this number actually represents the pressure of the heart between contractions or before systole or even simpler when the chambers of the heart are actually relaxing. So when chambers of the heart have pushed blood out. For instance, when heart enters the atrium, the right atrium, and it actually leaves, the time that it take the time that it's actually resting or relaxing before blood comes back to fill it up again is diastole. So that's essentially what I wanted to accomplish in this video today. I didn't want to explain too much what can affect these two different variables. I'm going to actually build upon this video and subsequent video lessons, but for now I just wanted to give you a basic orientation as to what those numbers are. So just to review, systole is a measure of the amount of pressure exerted on the walls of the arteries when the left side of the heart contracts or when any chamber of the heart contracts. But for humans, for our health, it's usually a measure of the left ventricle. And the bottom number, diastole, which means dilation, is the relaxation periods of the chambers of the heart. So your physician uses a bunch of tools to figure this out using a sphygmomanometer and a stethoscope to listen to, to listen for osculation sounds or osculatory sounds or an osculatory device. 
So I hope this helps shed some light on what those numbers actually mean, and I will be posting a video soon about different things that can affect these numbers and what that could actually mean for your health in the long run. Thank you.